The, the writing is fantastic. The harmonies now with the two of you are amazing. Um, oh, the road together. Yeah, yeah, really good stuff. We're another, just really, really, really happy to have you here, obviously. I'm wearing uh, the merch. I don't normally do that because a lot of folks don't have merch. You guys, of course, do because you know, you're the Jaded Ravens. Um, that last time, what was the name of that? That was called Heretics and Gasoline. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's lots of story songs. That, that was one about a, a band of brothers that uh, split up for good reasons. And one brother just wanted to keep going on the, down the same path. <laughs> right, 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 right. Huh. I feel like there might be a little bit of an autobiographical uh, element to that, possibly, yeah? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> it, it, well, that, that gets one of, one of the things that was occurring to me as you were playing was I. I think these, uh, you're the primary songwriter of the two, right? Kelly writes uh, every song. Every song, okay. I feel like they may pour out of you, like <laughs> gasoline uh, in a way. No. I, I don't know what it is, man. You know, you're talking to, sometimes in conversation with folks, you hear this one line just shines to you, and that's a little seed. I don't know, it's a lot of that kind of stuff, and when you got a crazy mind, I think I'm starting to get old enough where I realize how to tame that crazy a little bit, Right. and it's... Yeah, so it's verbal vomit, you know, just lots of words. I don't know. I like words. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. And uh, yeah, the, on that one, I was thinking the uh, a couple of those uh, verses, the syllable count was tough to <laughs> sing, right? On that particular song, it sounded like you were hip, hip hop country. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Are you inventing new genres of music? <laughs> very good, very good. And the song before that was uh, uh, I forget the old dog. Oh yeah, and, oh, and, and, and the refrain was uh, can't something along the lines of can't teach. Uh, uh, or, I don't think, yeah, yeah. Uh, that don't was, yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> I mean, really, they just want to be left alone. <laughs> Right. Talk to the mic, please. Oh, oh I'm yeah. sorry, I'm not talking to the mic. Hi, guys. When it's a room this small, I find it rude to talk to the mic, but I know we're doing something different here. So. <laughs> it is. Hi, everybody. Hi. We want to thank our uh, listeners on North Country Radio to yeah. uh, uh, WCVR. That, talk, talk to that song, because uh, I saw a lot of uh, heads nodding, and a lot of, there's a lot of yeah. emotion in that one. It's almost, that almost one, about... That one's an odd one. It's been, I wrote that song when we were talking about the other day, I think almost, well, back in 2006, I think. And it's one of those songs, every time I've done some sort of record process, it's always been in the queue, but tried it and it's never worked out. So I think it's just one of those ones that's bound to be live, and I don't know, in the moment, there's not really a lot of rhythm to it, per se. Um, it's a flow song. So in the studio, it's a hard environment to really catch that, and I don't, I'm fine with that, if it's just like the way it is. You know, some uh, ebb and flow tune, you know? Well, that's where the harmonies in that particular tune really jumped out at me. I was maybe so you're, you're suggesting that maybe this version, this incarnation, is one of your better. Well, yeah. I mean, versions. I think since Hallie and I have started singing together, the way we have, I think it's pushed that harmony element a little more to kind of make it shine and stretch stretch parts out without without filling it in with words. You got to question what are the meaning of just like nice harmonies, long notes. Like I, I like that stuff. And, since we've been singing together, it's just come to fruition that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it has a great blend of, of a lot of different elements. Um, absolutely, the things to uh, bring together. I've heard Benny before. Um, that was on a previous album, a solo yeah, album. Yeah, yeah, that was from the, the Tattoo Shop one. Uh, Leather, Weather, Born and Wiser one. I, read I was not wiser at, during that record. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, how many years ago? That was in 2012, 12, I think, yeah. 12 or 13. Yeah, yeah. I remember, no, it was 13. I was driving home from West Virginia in a snowstorm and ended up at my buddy's tattoo shop to record that that night. So it was a, it was a heralding, heralding night. Is that the right word, heralding? I don't know. I don't even know. <laughs> well, if it involved West Virginia and a snowstorm, I was yeah. say heralding yeah. is probably the right word. Yeah. You know, Vincent Freeman uh, has a caroling. I thought you said caroling at first. You know, he has a whole caroling night. Oh. Which, uh, obviously, we'd love to have you join. Good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, and it reminds me also uh, the prolific nature of your songwriting. I read an article, uh, you know, a long time ago, because I used to play your music at WFVR. Um, you read, we're writing about an album a year, no matter what, uh, pretty yeah. much, right? Yeah, you know what, I think it's become 
right now, you know, as soon as I get on plastic, because, you know, if you don't use them and you're not, you know, I find that it's tough to really, if I can make it tangible in my own ears, you know what I mean, that it's, you know, I can tell whether it's worth pursuing the song or not, you know, and if I, yeah, I think that's, recording it really helps solidify that in my brain, so. Right. Yeah. So your catalog must be hundreds or... Maybe thousands. Maybe yeah. thousands, potentially. <laughs> I lost my voice for a couple of months this year, which I have never had that happen to me before this summer. And uh, I had nothing but time, and I just wrote all like I got a couple of nice booklets from from Littleton, this little you know bookstore, and uh, filled them right up with songs I don't even play anymore. But you know, just stuff to like keep on the little for when I before I die, you know, <laughs> it's nice to have them there, I guess, for someone. <laughs> right on. And uh, so, talk a little bit about how how did um, you start. Uh, the, the incarnation of the two of you. How did you each start uh, your well, you, career? Talk. You would talk much. You talk. Get some time. Yeah, I, I heard a little something you, earlier about the you drink some tea, you I mentioned uh, uh, to them that, uh, I'm talking to the crowd here now, that uh, I have a friend who just saw you in the Whammy Bar, loved you. The first time I'd ever heard you guys, loved, loved every minute. And uh, I learned that uh, you have a history the Whammy Bar, yeah? Yes, my parents started the Whammy Bar in Callis, Vermont, and they had seen Kelly playing somewhere in Montpelier and wanted him to come play at the Whammy Bar, so he came and my parents told me, you have to see this guy, he's amazing, so I came and we eventually just, he asked me to sing on his record one time, he heard me singing at the Whammy Bar, and that's kind of how we ever started playing music together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I got drunk and asked you to marry me. I'm just <laughs> we're not married, we're not married, but hey, my, I consider it enough. <laughs> right on, it, with that first night? <laughs> no, shortly <laughs> thereafter. Yeah, it took some time. And had you been uh, into music well before the August of your parents? Yes. Th give a little history for the folks uh, who, who don't know the Whammy Bar. It's one of the most unique musical venues in Vermont or anywhere, really, right? Yes, it's a very small little room, and sadly they don't own it anymore. I wish they did, but um, yeah, really nice little listening room. And, and it's attached to, or in the back of, as I recall, maybe this has changed, I don't know the, you know, the different, uh, how old it is or whatever, but it, you go through it, an old general store first, yeah, right? Maple Corner store. Yeah, yep. it's the Maple, and you go through Maple Corner store, you, I don't know if anybody's working the register at 10 o'clock at night, but you go to the back, <laughs> and then it's like a speakeasy, kind yeah. of, right? Yeah. Very much so. Very, very special place to me. Yeah, very, very <laughs> cool place. Excellent. And did you, uh, were you a musician or songwriter previously? Yeah, I'm not a songwriter. Singer, you're a singer. Yes, I've right. sung in a so. few different groups, and that's, my parents had me open up for Kelly one night with a group of girls that I sang with, and that's how we first ever started singing together. Nice, nice, fantastic. And Kelly, you've been at it for a long, long time. Yeah, yeah. From, originally from Maine? So I'm from Maine, Maine yeah. 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 Waldo County, Maine, uh, yeah. if you take Route 2 directly across, then you'll get to my house eventually. Um, yeah, I'm from Maine, and you know what? I've been in Vermont since 2003, and for some reason I still can't say I'm a Vermonter. I'm a maniac through and through. And <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's just borders, really. You know, we're all from the north. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wicked. I can wicked, Bob. Are we on the radio? Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah there's a lot of similarities. I think the Mars and the Mainers yeah, are, salty, dude. <laughs> are more alike in, in my experience than, than New Hampshire. Maybe that's Boston. No, I, I, yeah. 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 <laughs> right on. And you've been playing for a long time. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I've been, it's just, who we are now, who I am now, I don't know, it sucks, I don't know anything I could do with enough passion and enough energy or enough care. It sounds terrible, but I really enjoy it and it's not dead on me yet, you know. So. Well, it's true. It I'll play right dive bars yeah. till the day I die. Yeah. <laughs> we are super, super grateful for that. And uh, I know you started with Land Speed, you've done some solo, and now uh, yeah. Jaded Raven's new album uh, is called Horizons. This is a, Second, third album you put out first? This is the second one for us. We did yeah. one in California. We did our first one in Rancho Del Luna, out in Joshua Tree. And this one, we really took our time with it on this. Like, we took, you know, a year off and on of just like, which is a new thing for me. Usually I get in the studio and I just hammer all the stuff out in a week and just, you know, I'm happy with that. This one took some time. It was nice. 
We actually got to do very some. Very proud of that. Yeah, it was very mutual too. I like it. Very good. Very good. Well, everybody here is super glad you're here. So are we. And, uh, so are we for you being here. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Carol's so out here till uh, close to eight. Hell yeah. And, uh, look forward to it. Katie yeah. Ravens, uh, live from the underground, and take us away. Thank you guys so much for listening to us. Very much.